Hey everyone, welcome back to the sunny side. I'm Sunny, and today we're going to look at some more Chiron transits, or not transits, Chiron. Uh, today we're going to look at Chiron aspects in relationship astrology. And yesterday we looked at uh, Cinderella transits. I call them, they're called Cinderella transits when they're transits. When they're in charts, they're called aspects. <laughs> Cinderella aspects or Cinderella linkages in the, um, the charts. Anyways, we looked at that yesterday. Today we're looking at the heartbreak transits with Chiron. All right, here we go. Uh, wishing everybody the best of a super amazing day. Welcome back to the sunny side. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't uh, subscribed yet. Here we go. So when I do relationship astrology or, uh, you know, astrology compatibility, uh, when I do it live on the channel here, you guys can see, you'll, you'll see me that this is usually more often than not the very first thing I look at. Uh, if I see this, I immediately, and there are some things in here that uh, I didn't write down, obviously, but like there are things here that if I see that in your compatibility, if I can, if I see these clashes, then like I usually just rule out <laughs> that you guys are going to get together and I focus the energy in a little bit differently. I might say, well, you guys might live in different cities or you guys might, um, you know, it's maybe it's the wrong person. Maybe you have different views in life. Maybe you guys are going in different directions. It's not that you don't love each other. It's not that you don't really inspire each other. It's not that you don't give each other the horny bananas. It's that like there's something wrong. Remember, what does Chiron represent in your chart? And this is not a teaching Chiron in the, the houses kind of thing. But like Chiron, rep so you don't have to write in the description box, okay? But like Chiron represents pain. So, and it's pain or it's transformation through pain. But like, uh, it's like, like imagine Chiron is that part of the chart between Scorpio and Sagittarius. Imagine the Chiron it kind of hangs out there. It's philosophical. It's a Scorpio kind of wound and it's in a resurrection kind of thing like in uh, Sagittarius overcoming obstacles. All right. But <laughs> it's pain, man. With you Today we're talking about pain. So anything that squares Chiron, anything that squares Chiron and or opposes, squares or opposes Chiron is going to cause you problems in relationships. It doesn't mean you can't get married. It doesn't mean that, you know, anything. It just means there's going to be problems. And so, all right. And depending on the planets, the problems. All right. So here, I wrote it down for you guys, obviously. But let me start off uh, by reading this out to you guys. And so this is Magi Astrology. Any clash aspect to Chiron, including blah, 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 <laughs> of any uh, planet, um, there's a little bit more to this than what we're going to talk about today. This is a little just YouTube video, having some fun. Okay, here we go. If a couple, okay, so any aspect of those, any clash to Chiron uh, are indicators of incompatibility and stress between two people. If a couple form too many Chiron clashes, the relationship is likely to end in heartbreak or similar, which is like a kick in the nuts, but you probably deserve. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here, let's, I wrote it down for you guys, so you can have a look. Okay, so here we go. Oh, man, come on. Okay, so here we go. All right, whatever, I'm sitting in front of it, deal with it. <laughs> deal with it. Okay, so here we go. The worst of these is the Chiron-Saturn clash. Okay, Chiron Saturn is a bad thing. Chiron is a, a wound, right? It's pain. And Saturn is like cold, disinterested. <laughs> Saturn's either too much or too little of something. It's never the right amount. Too much attention, not enough attention. It's way too much work. Where is everybody going? You know, it's, it's too much or too little. Okay, so the worst of these clashes is the Chiron Saturn clash. So either Chiron square Saturn or Chiron opposite Saturn. And it's so bad it has a special name and it's called the heartbreak clash. This clash increases the odds of breakup and divorce if married to incredibly high proportions and it's usually the person who has the Saturn who creates the heartbreak. Right? Cuz the Saturn 
creates like the Chiron person has the wound <laughs> and then the planet person is doing it to the Chiron person. All right, next. Both the Sun Chiron, all right, now the next one, the next one down here, okay, this one right here, Sun Chiron, Moon Chiron. Where did it go here? Sun Chiron, Moon Chiron. That's often called, okay, so here, I'll read it to you. Both the Sun Chiron and Moon Chiron clash are called the wrong person clash. This clash can be a very good indication that this is not your soulmate, mom. It's <laughs> not, no matter how much you get the groovy. In the... <laughs> but again, it depends on other factors as well. You can have all of these in your chart, in your uh, synastry and compatibility, and still get married, still have a great life, still blah, 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 blah. I'm just telling you what myself and my experiences in astrology says, and I'm just giving you the Magi astrology perspective. All right, next. Often, in my experience, people who have a Chiron opposite the sun, okay, Chiron opposite the sun, these people, this tends to be a long distance relationship. The sun is over there, way over there, and the, the wound is here. You want to be there and you can't. It's wound. There's a wound. So the that's what it is. <laughs> that's what it is. So like I so heads up, Chiron. Um, if there's a Chiron sun thing or Chiron moon thing, um, you either want to be over there and you can't, or you just can't, it's like a long distance relationship. All right, whatever, man. All right, next, 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 next. Venus Chiron. Oh man. I don't know how you think that's going to be a good, <laughs> how you're going to survive your Venus Chiron down there. All right. The Venus Chiron has, you know, remember Venus Chiron in a person's chart, one person's chart. It makes a person feel like they don't deserve love, right? Chiron, um, pain, Chiron, pain, Chiron, love, Venus, bam, <sighs> you don't deserve, right? Love, wherever Chiron is in your chart, there's going to be some kind of problem there, a mess up. And if it's conjunct Venus, it's a problem. All right, if it's trying Venus, it's great. If it's conjunct, no, I will go whatever. <laughs> so, although today we're talking about squares and oppositions, all right? Something a little different today. The Venus Chiron clash also has a special name. It's called the impossible dream clash, right? Impossible dream. Because it's rare for two people with this clash to get married. Marriage can happen, though, especially if the other person was born uh, with a square opposition to Chiron in their own chart, right? The research has revealed, however, that 85% of couples with this clash end up in divorce. And that's the action, guys. There's a little bit more. Um, I don't really want to go too in-depth and a little bit more. But in addition to that, right? So let's. I'll just show it to you in, your, in the chart right now. So in addition to all of that, there are also midpoints. And, oh, no. <laughs> the sun is here. I also, there are also midpoints, right? And on the, on my charts, I add these little midpoints in here. You know, to fine tune and see what's going on with everybody. Right? It's all cool. Chill out. <laughs> Chill out. Right? Anyways, today we're looking at the negative stuff. So that's Chiron right there, that little key. And so, and it's in Aries. So if anything is up there or down here or opposite, like right there, Venus is opposite Chiron right now. So any of this kind of stuff, if any of those negative things that I just said, fall into any one of those boxes, you're going to have, um, it's not good. <laughs> the relationship, there's going to be a problem in the relationship and there's going to be a lot to overcome. So those are the deals. Those are the, the, ma the big clashes that you should watch out for. The big Magi astrology, the big Magi astrology clashes. And it's the, again, it's the first thing I look for in a relationship kind of astrology. And if I see it, it usually indicates there's going to be some kind of problem or some kind of adjustment or some kind of wound that is really, you can't really, is really going to be difficult to overcome. And that's the action, man. I hope everyone has a super amazing day. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Um, I guess I'm slowly getting back into teaching, whatever. But like, I hope everybody has a super amazing day. If you want to reading. Go see someone else. I'm not really doing much. <laughs> and that's the action man from the sunnyside.net. I'm Sunny, wishing everyone the best of a super amazing day.
Watch out for these guys, man. They're gonna, they're gonna you guys. From the anyways, wishing everyone the best of a beautiful day, and I'll see you guys soon.